Mary was on a business trip and needed a hotel room for a week. When she went to pay at the reception, she discovered that her credit card was missing. She called her bank and was told that it would take a week before they could send her a new card. Mary turned to the receptionist and said, I have a gold chain with seven links. Each link is worth over $100. I'll give you the chain as collateral until I get my credit card. To be on the safe side, I'll give you one link every day for a week. Mary realized that she could swap out the links every day and thus avoid cutting too many links. What is the minimum number of links she must cut? And how does she proceed when she swaps out the links? Mary only needs to cut the third link. By cutting this link, she will have a single link, a double link, and a piece with four links. By swapping out the links every day, she can increase the payment by one link each day. Let's say you have four smaller chains with three links each. It costs $1 to break a link and $2 to solder two links together. What is the cheapest way to get a continuous chain and how much does it cost? The cheapest way to get a continuous chain is to take a group of three links and break all the links for a cost of $3. Then, you use each link to connect two of the other groups, resulting in three soldering connections. The cost for these solderings will be $6. The total price will therefore be $9.